In this series, we're going to learn how to test view applications with the help of view test utils library and VTest testing framework. We're going to test the application that has been built in a separate series, link to which I'm going to leave in this video description. In addition to that, there is also a playlist where this whole application built on JavaScript has been converted to TypeScript. And by the way, this course is not about VTest testing framework itself, and we're not going to review it in detail. There is also a separate playlist where we have learned how to test pure JavaScript code that doesn't use any frameworks, and in this playlist we were talking about VTest framework in depth. Link to the repository of this project I'm also going to leave in the video description. Let's switch over to the terminal. I have already opened up terminal tab in the root of this project. And now let's open up this project in the editor. And the first thing I'm going to do in here before we start writing tests is update a couple of dependencies related to VTest. I'm going to update versions of the following dependencies VTest coverage v8, VTest UI, and the VTest framework itself. I'm going to use latest versions at the time of this recording, which is 2.0.4. And now, just to update only these dependencies, I'm going to run npm install and then list names of all those three dependencies. Right after the update is finished, let's switch over to the browser once again and install view test utils. Let's switch over to the guide and copy the following command to install this library. It contains a bunch of helpful utilities that are going to help us test view components. And also to avoid any potential problems related to different versions of npm dependencies, to ensure that you are going to use the same versions of npm dependencies as I do, you have to run npm install, because this project already contains file package log.json, it will ensure that npm install command is going to install the same versions of npm dependencies. So now that we have npm dependencies installed, it's time to run the project in a browser. And for that, let's execute npm run dev to start development server. As we can see, it was started at the address localhost 5173. I'm gonna open up this address in the browser. And here we go, the application was successfully started. And by the way, this application already contains some tests for JavaScript functions. We can run npm test to see if all those tests are going to pass. There is already a script defined in package.json called test, which allows us to simply run npm test, and this way it is going to execute all tests in the project by using vtest. I'm gonna run npm test in the terminal, and as we can see, all tests have passed. At this point, we have already installed all necessary npm dependencies made sure that the application can be opened in the browser and that we can execute VTest framework to run tests. In the next lesson, we're going to start writing our first test for view component. Link to the source code of this project will be in the video description.